at the end of this module you will be able to understand number of tangents from a point on a circle and length of the tangent in the previous classes we have learned there can be only one tangent to the circle at a point on the circle in this class we will learn how many tangents can be drawn to the circle from a point which is not on the circle let us do an activity draw a circle on a paper mark a point a inside the circle draw lines through this point what do we notice are these lines tangents to the circle no we see that all lines through this point intersect the circle at two points so we cannot draw any tangent to a circle through a point inside the circle now take a point b on the circle how many tangents can be drawn through this point yes we have seen that only one tangent can be drawn through this point b now let us take the point c outside the circle let us see how many tangents can be drawn through this point c we can draw two tangents to the circle through this point now let us sum up what we have seen in the activity there is no tangent to a circle passing through a point lying inside the circle there is one and only one tangent to a circle through a point lying on the circle there are exactly two tangents to a circle through a point lying outside the circle in the given figure t1 and t2 are points of contact of the tangents ct1 and ct2 with the circle the length of segment of the tangent from the external point c and point of contact with the circle is called the length of the tangent from the point c to the circle now when we measure ct1 and ct2 we can notice that both of them are equal let us prove this fact the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal proof given cd and ce are two tangents from a point c to a circle and we need to prove that cd is equal to ce construction join oc od and oe consider triangle ocd and triangle oce we know that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact so angle odc equals to angle oec which is equal to 90 degrees and as od and oe are the radii of the given circle they are equal the side oc is equal to oc which is common to both the triangles hence by rhs axiom of congruency of triangles triangle ocd is congruent to triangle oce as congruent parts of congruent triangles are equal we get cd equal to ce hence we prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal pq is a chord of length 16 cm of a circle of radius 10 cm the tangents at p and q intersect at a point t find the length tp solution let us join ot let it intersect pq at a point r triangle tpq is an isosceles triangle as tp is equal to tq tangents drawn from an external point to the circle therefore by the theorem in an isosceles triangle 
a line drawn from the vertex angle to opposite side divides the vertex angle into two congruent angles. Hence, TO is the angular bisector of angle PTQ. So, OT is perpendicular to PQ. Now, from the theorem, a perpendicular drawn from the center to the chord of the circle bisects the chord. We get OT bisects PQ which gives PR equal to RQ equal to 8 cm. From a right angle triangle ORP using Pythagoras theorem, we get OR square equals to OP square minus PR square equals to 10 square minus 8 square equals to 100 minus 64 equals to 36. So, OR is equal to square root of 36 equals to 6 centimeters. Now, we have angle TPR plus angle RPO equal to 90 degrees. As the tangent drawn at a point on the circle is perpendicular to the radius at that point. In a triangle PTR, angle PRT is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle TPR plus angle PTR is equal to 90 degrees, which implies that angle RPO is equal to angle PTR. So, by AAA criteria, we have triangle TRP is similar to triangle PRO. Now, when triangles are similar, corresponding sides are in proportion. So, we have TP by PO equals to RP by RO. Substituting the values, we get TP by 10 equal to 8 by 6. So, TP is equal to 80 by 6 equal to 13.33 centimeters. From a point Q, the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 centimeters and the distance of Q from the center is 25 centimeters. Find the radius of the circle. Solution Let O be the center of the circle. Then we are given OQ equal to 25 centimeters and PQ equal to 24 centimeters. We know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So OP is perpendicular to PQ. Triangle OPQ is a right angle triangle. Right angle that P. By Pythagoras theorem, we get OP square plus PQ square equal to OQ square. So, we get OP square equals to 25 square minus 24 square. So, OP equal to square root of 625 minus 576 equal to 7 centimeters. Hence, radius of the circle is 7 centimeters. In the given figure, if TP and TQ are two tangents to a circle with center O, so that angle POQ is 120 degrees, then find the angle PTQ. Solution We are given TP and TQ are tangents to the circle with center O. So, the radius drawn to these tangents are perpendicular to the tangents. So, OP is perpendicular to TP and OQ is perpendicular to TQ. Thus, angle OPT is equal to 90 degrees and angle OQT is also equal to 90 degrees. We know 
that in a quadrilateral sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees so considering the quadrilateral POQT we have angle OPT plus angle POQ plus angle OQT plus angle PTQ equals to 360 degrees substituting the measures we get angle PTQ equals to 360 degrees minus 300 degrees which is equal to 60 degrees so angle PTQ is 60 degrees in this lesson you have learned the length of the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal.